Hey there, curious minds! Welcome to Kim Ludd Channel. Today, we're diving into something truly fascinating. They say if you want to understand China's past, visit Beijing. For modern China, head to Shanghai. But for a peek into China's future? That's Shenzhen. And boy, do I have a story for you. Shenzhen isn't just any city. It's like stepping into tomorrow. Young, buzzing with energy, and packed with cool innovations. We're talking smart city tech, efficient public transport, and sustainable urban planning. But what caught my eye? The schools. Oh man, the schools in Shenzhen are something else. Imagine classrooms where technology isn't an afterthought, but the core of learning. Smart boards, tablets, online platforms. You name it, they've got it. It's like they've taken a page out of a sci-fi novel and made it real. But it's not just about fancy gadgets. It's about reimagining education for the 21st century. Let's take a tour of a typical high school in Shenzhen. Picture wide open spaces, lots of greenery, and buildings straight out of an architectural magazine. The classrooms? They're like mini tech hubs with high res screens and 5G connectivity faster than most of our home internet. But it's not all screens and internet. There's a science library that would make researchers drool, a biology lab that looks like it's from a medical drama, and get this, a professional robotics lab. These kids aren't just learning about robots from books, they're building them. Hold on to your hats because there's more. The school has a flight simulator for the C-919, an aircraft 100% made in China. Talk about hands-on learning. And it's not just science and tech. There are dance studios, music rooms, and theaters for performances. They're nurturing the next generation of scientists and artists side by side. The best part? This isn't some elite private school. It's a regular public high school in Shenzhen. It shows how seriously China is taking education. So who's behind all this cool tech? Let me introduce you to Liu Technology. These folks are all about bringing the Internet of Things into classrooms. They're not just handing out tablets, they're reimagining the entire learning environment. And the Chinese government is fully on board. They've had compulsory education since the 1980s, covering six years of primary school and three years of junior high. We're talking massive scale, about 150,000 primary schools with 105 million students. The enrollment rate? Over 99%. Now let's zoom in on some cool gadgets. First up, smart lamps. They direct light straight down, helping kids focus better. There are even sensors that detect natural light levels and adjust accordingly. It's like having a personal lighting assistant for every student. The screens use anti-glare technology, so no matter where a student sits, they can see clearly. It's these little details that show how much thought is going into creating the perfect learning environment. Looking at the bigger picture, China has about 880,000 junior high schools and 14,000 senior high schools. In 2020, about 89% of kids were enrolled in secondary education. That's about 60 million in junior high and 24 million in senior high. But it's not all about academics. The Chinese government is also big on vocational training. They're making sure kids who prefer hands-on work or have different talents also get a chance to shine. Now, we can't talk about education in China without mentioning the Gao Kao. This is the mother of all exams in China. Think of it like the SAT in the US, but dial the pressure up to 11. Kids spend years preparing for it. When the pandemic hit, schools in China had to adapt quickly. They moved to remote learning, installing cameras in classrooms so lectures could be recorded and replayed. It shows how committed China is to ensuring every student gets a good education, no matter what. Let's talk money. The Chinese government is investing heavily in education, spending about 5.3 trillion yuan, roughly 830 billion US dollars, in 2020. They're using this money to build better schools, especially in rural areas, and to improve teacher salaries and training. Here's a fun fact. They've even redesigned school furniture. The desks and chairs are adjustable and can transform into beds for nap time. It's like something out of a Transformer movie, but for education. 
China is also bringing education into the digital age. They're creating robust online learning platforms, not just for kids in big cities, but to bring quality education to remote and rural areas too. In the classroom, there are smart boards that interact with students' tablets, AI-powered learning assistants, and even virtual reality field trips. One of the biggest challenges in any country's education system is the gap between urban and rural areas. China is tackling this head-on, expanding access to secondary and higher education for kids from all backgrounds. Speaking of higher education, the growth here is mind-blowing. In 1990, only about 3.4% of young people in China went to college. By 2020, that number had skyrocketed to over 54%. Today, China has more than 2,700 universities and colleges, competing with the best in the world. So there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of China's education system with a special focus on the futuristic schools of Shenzhen. From smart classrooms to nap-friendly desks, from rural outreach to soaring college enrollment rates, China is redefining what education can be in the 21st century. It's about a vision for the future. A future where every child, regardless of where they're from, has access to quality education. It's about preparing the next generation, not just to face the challenges of tomorrow, but to shape that tomorrow with confidence and creativity. This vision encompasses not just academic excellence, but also the holistic development of students, fostering critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and a sense of global responsibility. China's approach to education is about breaking down barriers, whether geographical, technological, or social, ensuring that no student is left behind. It's about leveraging innovation to create learning environments that are not only effective, but also engaging and inclusive. By prioritizing both access and quality, China is setting the stage for a future where knowledge and skills are within reach for all, equipping young minds to be the architects of a brighter, more interconnected world. This isn't just about catching up with global standards. It's about leading the way, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in education and inspiring other nations to reimagine their own systems. The question now is, how will the rest of the world respond? What do you think? Could this be a glimpse into the future of education worldwide? Are there lessons here that other countries could learn from? Or do you see potential drawbacks to this high-tech, high-intensity approach? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this deep dive into China's education system, why not give this video a big thumbs up? It helps support the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, exploring fascinating developments around the world, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and remember, the future is what we make of it. See you in the next video.